welcome to your favorite channel and as always i am debbie somas if this is your first time on my youtube channel please 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 kindly subscribe subscribe so you can be the first to know when i upload my videos debbie somas youtube channel debbie Summers YouTube channel, Debbie Summers YouTube channel, Debbie Summers YouTube channel. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm super excited today. I really, 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 really can't see why, but I am excited. You know, if you look at things right now, the way things are going right now with me, I shouldn't even be excited, but. <laughs> There's this joy, this joy <laughs> in my soul. So please just excuse my drama today. Excuse, excuse my drama. Yeah. Okay, so today I decided to talk about something very important. Something we all should know about, you know, something you've heard of. Yeah, I guess you've heard of this. I'm sure you've heard of Anyway, by the way, I just decided to stay on this side of my window because the sun, the sun is shining on me. The sun, just, just look at this. Mm. So, <clears throat> we are going to be on this side of the window today. Yeah. The first clue is that it starts with a D. Mm -hmm. A D. It starts with a D. Yeah, a D. Okay, now, seriously. Seriously. Today, as many of you know, I am a dentist. I just like saying that. I am a practicing dentist. There's anything like that, yeah. So, I will be talking to us about dental caries. That's the D, yeah. So dental caries, that's what I'll be talking about today. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about dental caries today. Um, the reason why I chose to talk about this is that I've been seeing a lot of patients lately and the things I hear, like the reasons they give for their late presentation and the knowledge they have about dental caries is really alarming, really alarming. So I just decided to, you know, share a little bit about dental caries and a little bit chipping, a little bit of oral education for my viewers here on this channel. So I am not going to be using medical terms today. I'm just going to be using terms that we all should understand. Um, I'm going to try as much as possible to speak about dental caries in a way that we all should understand. Now, dental caries, to put um, simply, is all in your tooth or holes in your teeth. So that's what dental caries. Mm, most likely that's like the simplest way to put it i guess oh so basically i have been seeing patients recently that say um they went to a place and they were given a particular liquid and were given this liquid to rinse their mouth uh, because they were having pains they complained of pains and when they rinsed out they saw worms like coming out from their mouths. They actually say that these worms were moving, like they saw it with their eyes. So they actually believe that they, they, they had worms in their teeth, you know? And I've also seen patients that come to me and say, oh, I didn't want to, um, to, to, to remove this tooth because I've removed my, a, a lot of my teeth. And I've been told that if I remove one tooth, I'll most likely remove so many more. 
So that's why I'm presenting leads. That's why I haven't done anything about this. I've been hoping that this tutu ill itself had been hoping that I would get um, some form of relief. But over time, I have really, really not been able to get relief. Blah, blah, blah. This product that really pisses me off. They call it uh, Akokoro or something like that. And there's another one. Oh, sh I can't really remember. And these chemicals are really, really, really detrimental to your health. There is... Okay, not to judge, not to judge. That's really the purpose of this of this video to enlighten us on dental caries and you know everything there is to know about dental caries. So, the very first thing, obviously, is to talk about what exactly causes dental caries. Like I said earlier, I wouldn't be using big words. I wouldn't be using medical terms. I would just be putting it um, in a simple way. And um, to help us understand, to help us all understand what dental caries really is. So, um, I'm going to talk about how caries are called, the process, the whole process. So, when you eat sticky foods, or when you just, uh, you take something and say soft plantain, chocolate, sweets, chewing gum, and the likes, and they get stuck between your teeth, the bacteria in your mouth acts on those food substances that are stuck on your teeth. Now, bacteria acting on those food substances produces acid. Now, it is that acid that dissolves your tooth. Okay, the thing about dental caries is, at the early stage, it is usually asymptomatic. Usually, there is no pain, there is no swelling, there is no pus discharge. Everything seems all right. Now, the way to, like every other disease, like every other condition, early detection is very important. It's, it's, it can't be overemphasized. So, how do you know you have a hole in your tooth when you're not feeling pains, when there's no swelling in your mouth? How do you know I have dental caries? How do you know you have this disease and... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't call it a disease, but yeah, it's a disease. How do you know you have this disease and how do you get treatment? Because you obviously can't get treatment for something you don't even know you have. So, the way to catch it early, to catch it young, is to ensure that you visit your dentist. <laughs> to visit your dentist twice in a year. That's every six months. You make sure you visit your dentist. Now, during your dental checkup, your dentist will most likely pick up dental caries in your teeth and advise you accordingly on what treatment option is available or um, applicable to the hole in your tooth. Okay, so the very first stage of dental caries, that's the stage where there's no pain, the stage where there's no swelling, where it is just quiet and silent in your mouth. If you are seeing your dentist and there's it only your tooth and you take x-rays, yes, we take x-rays for your tooth. We have small films that that are used for taking x-rays just about this size. Yes, in put into your mouth to take x-rays to see the extent of the hole to be sure that the hole has actually not gotten to your pulp. After taking that x-ray, the x-ray will lead or will guide your dentist on what exactly to do. The x-ray will show the part of your tooth, which you call the roots. The part of your tooth, which you call the roots. <laughs> the part of your tooth, which you call the roots, that is in your bone. In your bone and cannot be seen clinically by the dentist. Now, if there is no communication with your pulp, if the hole is not communicating with your pulp, you don't have pains, you don't have any symptoms whatsoever, you can go ahead and get dental filling. We call them restorations. You can get composite, we have amalgam, we have GIC, which is glass ionomer cement. The composite and the 
GIC are white ish however there are disadvantages the weaker compared to amalgam now amalgam is silver colored yeah but it's a very it's a relatively strong material now if however after taking the x-ray it is um you see that the the hole is already communicating with the pulp which is where your nerves that your blood supply to the tooth comes from then the treatment option changes it changes from just a regular feeling it changes from just having composites restoration or gic restoration or amalgam restoration or what well, whatever so it changes from that once the oil is in your pulp you cannot do a regular feeling yeah <laughs> so the treatment for caries that has gone as far as the pulp is most often a root canal therapy or root canal treatment rct you might have heard of that if you've visited the dentist and you've had dental caries before you might have heard of a root canal treatment now the second option which is the most dreaded option is to extract the tooth there, there are a lot of factors that that, that might lead to a dentist advising you to extract your tooth. It depends on the restorability of that tooth. If the tooth has, how do I put it, gone beyond repair, you may need to remove that tooth. You may need to extract your tooth. However, you should know that there are options of replacement. We have the removable partial denture, we have the bridge, we have um, implants. So your dentist, you can consult your dentist to explain more extensively on these options of replacement of your teeth. Now, a root canal treatment is more expensive. It requires you to visit your dentist more than once. However, a root canal treatment keeps your tooth in your mouth, meaning you don't have to extract the tooth, so the tooth remains in your mouth. And I believe me when I say there is nothing as good as your tooth being in your mouth. Now, we have these fantastic options of replacement after extracting your tooth, but having your tooth in your mouth is the gold standard. If I can say that, it's the gold standard. So you should as much as possible try as much as possible to keep your tooth in your mouth because there's nothing like your natural god-given tooth so how do i prevent dental caries how do i make sure that i don't come up with these dental caries because i don't want to start choosing between removing my tooth and visiting the dentist severally for a root canal treatment now the very first thing is to make sure that you practice good oral hygiene what I mean by this is brushing twice daily, brushing for for each session of brushing, you should brush for um, at least three minutes, not just I'm done. No, you should brush properly. You should brush for a sufficient amount of time to cover all your teeth. You should um, use the right texture, texture of toothbrush. Now we have three textures. We have the soft bristle toothbrushes, which are basically for children. Yeah, they are for children, not for adults. Then we have the medium bristle toothbrushes, which are recommended, which I would recommend for adults, for teenagers. Medium textured toothbrushes will brush your teeth adequately, will brush your teeth efficiently, and will not cause long-term tooth damage unlike the ad bristle toothbrush which is the third type of toothbrush which we know most of us will refer to as the smoker's toothbrush uh, i wouldn't mention a brand a very popular brand that makes ad bristle toothbrushes i do not recommend ad bristle toothbrushes because over time they wear off the the neck of your tooth that's the the yeah the neck of your tooth to put simply so i will not recommend a ad bristle toothbrush i recommend a medium bristle toothbrush now another thing is 
what kind of toothpaste are you using so for your toothpaste this is the one i'm using currently yeah i'm this type of girl i squeeze it toothpaste i squeeze it i squeeze it anyway so on your toothpaste you check you check the ingredients parts you see the active ingredients should be sodium fluoride so any toothpaste basically i'm not recommending any brand any toothpaste that does not contain fluoride i do not recommend it for you baby your toothpaste should contain fl fluoride in your saliva helps to strengthen the tooth makes it more resistant to caries you understand so your toothpaste must contain fluoride then you should brush twice in a day twice in a day in the morning when you wake up and at night and once you brush your teeth at night you shouldn't be eating anything the only thing you're allowed to take after brushing your teeth at night is water the the rationale be be, um, behind brushing your teeth at night is that it reduces the sugar in the mouth that the bacteria in your mouth can act upon you understand so brush your teeth at night make sure you don't eat any other thing but you can drink water <laughs> the, to the exact thing that ginger had me to do this video when you have a tooth let me just give you this closing remark when you have a tooth that is curious you've gone past the preventive stage you now have the caries please and please 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 edjo please be cool be cool do not use all these substances bonjela akokoro these chemical substances do not put aspirin on your tooth for crying out loud do not put vitamin c on your tooth do not put calcium tablets in the oil it's not going to solve anything you need to treat that tooth you need to either get a filling you need to either get a root canal treatment done you need to either remove that tooth a tooth doesn't heal itself you need to visit your dentist for treatment you need to avoid using this ash chemical substances because they actually cause chemical bonds on your gum and lead to you know more 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 terrible things they, they do they do more terrible things to you you know you shouldn't do these things i've tried as much as possible to explain how caries is formed i've tried as much as possible to explain that it suit does not heal itself and i've placed emphasis on a visit to a dental clinic you need to visit your dentist twice every year you know so your dentist can pick up this caries 